So today, I'm gonna get a couple things done on the 240. I wanna get this guy off and get the other one on because it's white and I can actually write on it. And I was thinking it'd be kinda cool to put the list of the things I still need to do on the deck lid. So we're gonna get that switched over. I've got a couple things to put back on the engine so that when it comes time to getting around to starting it, we can just kind of do the fluids and start it and hopefully it'll turn over. Um, and I've got to try to find someone who can help me do the wiring because I have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm gonna get started here in just a little bit. So this is a coil rad radiator. Um, this is actually for an SR20 and it fits directly into the S13 chassis. Uh, but I guess a lot of guys are running these with their two JZs. I brought this one in from a company called Drift Motion. I think they're out of California. Uh, they're on the West Coast for sure. But every time I've dealt with them, they've been absolutely fantastic. So shout out to Drift Motion because you guys always come through when I need something and it's always extremely fast even though I may order it way in advance it's always here super quick so besides the mangled metal from the battery box it slipped right in fits super easy uh, it's probably the easiest install we've done on this car so far. So obviously I need to make some modifications to this because it is just too long to go from these very small points. And of course, I can't find anything in this garage, so I can't even find a saw. But what I did find was a very large tree saw blade. Radiators in. Radiator pipes are on. A little worried about radiator pipe being squished, but that's okay. Haggard hole is being utilized for cool air, so I think that's what this kid did before. Um, didn't use the heat shield because it's super haggard, so garbage. What's up? So we're done. It runs. I'm just kidding. It doesn't run. Um, but we're close. So for starters, we put a different deck lid on the back. Um, the other one had a bunch of holes in it. So we put this white one on it. And like I said earlier, I think my idea is I'm going to put everything that still needs to be done right here with a checklist and then just check everything off. Cause then when I'm done with that, I'm either going to plasti dip it or wrap it or something. I haven't decided if you guys think one or the other comment at the bottom and tell me what you think. At this point in time, I don't care, or at least not yet. So also, I put the front panels back on and the hood because I really wanted to see what it looked like being closer to done so I could feel like it's done. But let me pop the hood real quick. So, the hood's not attached either. So that's gonna be hilarious. Oh God. All right, so. Pretty much everything else is in. I've got the radiator on, I've got the intake in, and the cone filter, and it's got a nice hole in there, so it'll get some real good fresh air coming up out of there. I'm a little worried about this squeezed portion of that, but uh, I'll, I'll get an S-bend uh, hose so that that's not all whacked out. And I gotta get a, a cap for this and obviously tie everything in. I've still got a couple coolant lines that still have to be tied in, they're not. Um, once they are in, I think I can actually, we'll be able to start the car. But everything else is good. The bumper is just like sat on there. The panels are on for, for real. Serpentine belt was done today. And then lastly, down here, both sides got reattached to the coilovers. I put the inner and outer tie rods on as well. 
Um, I don't know what I'm doing with these yet, so until I know more. I actually didn't even put these uh, bending pins in. I just put them in there and set them there because they're good for now until I'm ready to do whatever I'm doing. Hopefully next time I can plug everything in, get the hoses attached, and then after that, we should be able to start it. So, that's awesome. Let's do it. Oh, you thought we were done, and we're not. Welcome to day two of fucking with this turd. Jordan's with us today. Um, this is what we're doing. We are plasti dipping the 240. So this is, we're gonna half ass it. So it's gonna be hilarious, but we're gonna try this. How's it coming? I mean, it's coming. I, dude, I think we should fill that hole with like a piece of paper. Yeah, that's for sure. Not the greatest one color, but it's all one color. Not the greatest one color, but it is, you're right, it is one whole color. All right, should we unveil the new paint scheme? I don't know, do you want it to look like mud? Why? I mean, could be worse. Could be worse. It needs some more clear. It needs some more clear coat, you're more right. Clear. A lot more clear. But I, I think know. we're ready. What do you think? Show them. Time to show them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what do you think, man? I can't believe we got it this far. It looks good. It looks hilarious, but it's awesome. I'm so pumped. I can't believe it's done. Well, like this done. I'm so pumped. I've been pumped for like 10 minutes now, just pumped. And Jordan's putting the windows back up. Cause we've got some stripped out window sprockets that we'll have to, I'm gonna have to either replace or like I'll always have to have vice grips on them and spin them. I don't wanna do that. So I'm pumped, Jordan's tired and we're both gross since we've been here since like noon yeah about noon. about noon been back and forth to town like a couple times to get more supplies but it just just looks good it looks so good i'm ready ready for it to run <laughs> 